Hi guys. Welcome to our home. My name is Matt. My name is Cheryl. And this is Izzy. With a Y. With a Y. Come check out our pets. Welcome to the farm. Come on. My name is Cheryl Burke, and uh, some of you may know me from a little show called Dancing with the Stars. I'm a wife to this handsome young fella. This is my owner, Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's pretty spot on, actually, yeah. yeah. I'm Matthew Lawrence, I'm an actor, I'm a husband, I'm a Frenchie dad, and I'm a herpetologist, which is the study of reptiles and amphibians. Not herpes. No, not herpes. <laughs> I definitely grew up with pets. My stepdad loves dogs. My mom's from the Philippines. We, I grew up with a golden retriever. The golden retriever scared the crap out of me, chased me outside of my dad's, uh, stepdad's house at, when I first met them. And I was rolling down the grass area, I'll never forget it, and this golden retriever just wanted to like lick me and I was freaked out. So this is the first dog, I guess you can say, that's been pretty consistent in my life, oh. right? Like since day one. Me? Oh. This is gonna take all day. No, but. it's not. It's, it's a real simple answer. I, I was not raised um, in a family who had animals. I had to beg my parents to allow me to have reptiles and snakes and fish and frogs and all that kind of stuff. And when they said no, I went out and got them anyway. Caught them in the wild and built enclosures and hid them in my backyard. So Izzy was a present to Cheryl for our wedding anniversary. No, it wasn't. It was a present for our my birthday. No. Yeah, it was. No. It was right, no, right it was when COVID definitely hit. for our wedding anniversary. It's the same month. I mean, whatever, give or take. It wasn't so much a surprise because I found out in two seconds. Yeah, she found out. I could um, just see it all over his face. I really did love Isabella because my old babysitter, her name was Ima. She passed away and I just thought, you know what? I'm going to name her after Ima. And so we call her Isa, Izzy, Isabella, or Babushki. Sure, I have different Surrey. opinions on animal names. Cheryl sure likes cotton. Well, no, that was fluff, my, fluff. oh, by the way, excuse me. And it was Catan. Catan <laughs> with an accent over the second O. Can you imagine saying that every day? Catan. Catan. <laughs> my passion for reptiles started, uh, like, I mean, I think I was born that way, honestly. She kind of looks like an iguana. Growing up in the entertainment industry as a kid, uh, I was kind of Mickey Mouse. A lot of other kids, they didn't know how to relate to me because I was on their television and people would talk about me. So I didn't have a lot of friends. So. I developed more friends in, in the natural world. So the reptiles, and my dogs and deers and the trees even, because um, trees communicate too, you know, call me crazy, but I'm a tree hugger. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, so th there's, a, there's all these things in the natural world that I just feel like we've kind of lost touch with. You know, I never thought I was gonna have like all of these beautiful reptiles, but you know, if he loves snakes, I, it's fine. Look, we have rules, you know, like no sleeping with the reptiles or the no warmth. showering with them. See, that's the one that I, it was tough to give up with. The iguanas, they love the humidity and the heat. And then you're hanging out with them, you know, in the mornings, you shower and there's your iguana, I love it. But I had to make some sacrifices, you know, and when you get married and uh, that was one of them. Matt's like a walking encyclopedia, right? So like anything that comes out of his mouth, and he's also very passionate about it, um, about his reptiles, which is really nice to see. You gotta remember, this is kind of important, or it's important to me, um, but it's kind of important to all of us and the planet too, is that um, when you take up a part of your yard for something, you should also give a part of your yard back to, mm. you know, native plants and animals. So even though I've taken up some parts of the backyard uh, for my reptiles, I uh, also created environments and made sure I didn't destroy any of the natural reptiles. Like I love the wild blue bellies, which are like a little wild swift that we get here. We have alligator <laughs> lizards, which are great. We've got gopher snakes. Oh, <laughs> reptiles in general, they all have, you know, these qualities people don't, don't wouldn't assume that a reptile would have. Like my iguana Jomo, he knows me over anybody else. Also, this is what I really love, is that it's all about respect and it's about developing trust. And once you do that, you have it for life. Even though, she funniest does. thing, <laughs> Izzy, you like, you go over to give her a little attention, she's like, ugh, she's please, like, I can't. But then stare uh, at me for 24 just, hours of the day, please, and just watch creepily. every little move. She's creepy. Yeah. I'll be, I'll walk she's around and I'll be like, where is she? One. And I'll look over and I just, just get this. Or like, yeah, she I'm is. like, where is she, Izzy? And she's like, looking we'll, through the steps we'll call her. at me. Like, Izzy! And we're like, die, I'm having a she's mini creepy. heart attack because yeah. I can't find her. Izzy is, is our daughter. She's an integral yeah. part of our every day, every minute of every day, you know, we think about her. I have borderline, like, a very uh, codependent, I guess you could say, relationship with Isa. Like, I love this little dog so much it hurts. 
I mean, nature is the greatest stress relief for me personally that there is. No matter what kind of stuff is going on that literally I'll have panic attacks about when I'm walking around my house. You know, I, I'll come out of my greenhouse after spending time with my animals and I'll be like, oh, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe that I was able to decompress from what I was dealing with. And oh, here it is again. It hits me right back in the face once I'm back yeah. in the real He's world. talking about me. No, I'm not. As soon as I walk back into the door, <laughs> just she just, I mean, Cheryl just slaps just me right back in the, the face. face. This is our kitchen. This is where all the action happens. Not, yeah. not that type of action. Preparation of food. Yes, preparation of food. Which we're gonna do, we're gonna feed little Lizzie. Yes, she she's has, starving. she's very, you know, she's picky and Matt cooks everything from scratch. She likes to eat out off of a plate because, well, she has to. Well, she doesn't like it, she just. Because she, they have these lips and these folds, the French bulldogs, and when they stick their head in a bowl, they don't clean all the folds out after they eat them. They get fold infections. Fun fact, Matt likes to clean them off and smell it. That's it how- like, It smells like cheese. Oh, I that's, love cheese. That's how much he loves his Reggie. This is Isabella's bed area. This is like where we always hang out. Sometimes we end up falling asleep on the couch because she loves this area so much. So we have all her toys here. She's got tons of bully sticks, tons of tennis balls, way too many toys. And then she's got the elephant, which her mom bought her. She loves this one. She we likes the Nyla bones too. Yeah. Antlers. Love the antlers. But she just goes and digs around here. She loves tennis balls. I mean, she's she oh, learned this from her oh. older brother. And this is what she loves to do. She's really fast. Yeah, she is. And if you don't have a camera on her, you will miss it. Yeah, make sure you guys got this. <laughs> oh! Oh gosh, sorry, it's a terrible throw. She'll go down there and get it. She's She'll so get it, she's fine. Well, this is our living room slash bedroom lately. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have this beautiful home and we really just camp out. On yeah, we this never couch. really leave this yeah. little area. This yet. is me and Izzy's area. Like Izzy, like Izzy loves sleeping with me and obviously loves playing with mm -hmm. Matt. Izzy, she owns everything and that's kind of an issue. Like, in fact, Izzy will be on the couch. I'll be like, oh, I'll go and I'll sit on the couch with my dog. You know, cuddle her, watch some TV. I sit down and she leaves and gets off because I'm on the couch now. <laughs> that's just Izzy, you know? She's a special one. Okay, guys, welcome to my part of the house. This is the cool part of the house. My sanctuary, my man cave, whatever you want to call it. But this is where the reptiles live. This is where the zoo is. Come on, let's check it out. Everything that you see here, I, I put together myself. I mean. It's not like I'm crazy proud of it. It's literally just like everything from my garage that I've had over the years I've collected. I kind of smashed together, but it works. Let's see if we can get some of these guys out. We got two tortoises in here. They're jammed in trying to get out of one spot. This is Sherman. Named by my grandfather, who's no longer with us after the Sherman tanks that he uh, operated in the war. Sherman's about, uh, he's close to 30 now, I'd say. Sherman's been a part of my life for a really, really long time. Oh, there she is. I'll show you their eggs. She laid eggs. She laid eggs this season. I rescued her because she was taken in by a family as a pet. They didn't want her. She couldn't walk. She had lost uh, control of both of her front legs. But I'll tell you what it was. It's given her, you know, native stuff to walk on, like the right soils, uh, the right climate, the right humidity, and just, Working with her every day, she's fine. And she's 80 years old. She's really old and she just laid eggs. She's laid one other time before and that's where I've gotten the babies, which are not really babies anymore. These are like five years old now. They've done really well. I've adopted out uh, four or five of the babies already. These are the remaining three out of the eight that um, I raised out. This is a bearded dragon. Um, they're from inland Australia. I actually studied these guys in Australia in the wild. They're, they're awesome. Best pets. Any of your kids, anybody wants to get any, like the, a kid loves reptiles or any, bearded dragons, they're, they're the way to go. All right, so this is Jomo. He's a, a Cuban iguana. Actually, Cuban slash Cayman iguana. There's only about 200 in the wild, period, on the planet. I'm gonna have to have you guys go up there because it's super hot, he's a big animal, and uh, he might shoot out of you. Come here, Jomo. Come back over here. Back over here, and then back out here. Show yourself to the camera, come here. Get your tail all the way out, we don't get your tail caught. So believe it or not, this very, 
large iguana I hatched out of an egg 20 years ago. Look at that, look at that boy. Oh my gosh, he's a monster, just a beast. So um, again, very like, you know, grassroots, backyard style incubating, but I've got some tortoise eggs incubating in the same way that I incubated Jomo. You look in there, we got six beautiful round eggs. This is literally what Jomo hatched out of. Not this exact one, but this is what Jomo came out of. So today we're gonna to be doing tricks for charity and we are playing for... International Iguana Foundation, IIF. Very important foundation. You know, not a lot of people are donating to conservation of iguanas, so we need your help. Jomo. And they can't all live in this house, so... That's true. We don't really have any reptiles representing yeah. the Iguana Foundation, so... Right. This is gonna be our... She's just placed Representative that, yeah. for the day. The Here's trick. a big one. Hey. Ready for this? Don't listen it's to us. Trick, guys. <laughs> trick one. Izzy, sit down. Good <gasps> girl! Okay. Wait, next one. This one's even bigger. Wait, give me one. Okay. Is biz, sit. Papa, yeah. pop. Good girl. Hey, ready? Izzy, sit down. Good girl. Now wait, now sit down. Wait there. This is her other one. Wait. Oh, no. Sit down. Sit. Wait. Ah, oh, I didn't say okay. Wait. You're such a pretty girl. Come here. Good girl. The other trick she does is she pees good in living girl. rooms. She's really good at peeing inside at homes. This is as close as I get to a kiss. Come here, Iz. Oh, God. Look, ready? You just have to, like, here, yeah, manipulate here. her. Up here. Up here. Come on. Up. Jump up here. Ah! I got a kiss! <laughs> totally manipulated the situation, but isn't that what we do anyway? <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming to our home and meeting our beautiful daughter, Miss Isabella, and uh, Matt's farm downstairs. So hey, we're just going to keep, Thanks for coming keep, by. keep adding to the collection. Make sure you check us out more on my YouTube channel. You can find us there, and especially Miss Izzy. She's featured on my YouTube channel, as well as my podcast, Pretty Messed Up. Check out my Instagram, see yeah. uh, all the, the reptiles and the iguanas and the tortoises and see how they're doing. and. See how the babies are growing up and eggs hatching and all that kind of cool stuff. So. You come back next year when we have 80 iguanas. Exactly. It's, it's very likely. Say bye! I'm gonna shower you with lots of love. She loves it, yeah. She's like, bring in a whole new group of strangers. We love strangers here.